Hello everybody, we are back, back on a mission. I said last episode that I was not going to do another episode until the update was out. Well, it looks like it's going to be a little while for that update. Um, it's a pretty important one with a, a lot of big changes and uh, new features added. So I'm going to give them as much time as I need to get that done. But I'm anxious to play some more, and I had a request to do an insane challenge in the V8 category, the 24-hour endurance. Um, this one's going to set up a 2013 uh, modern-day manufacturer uh, era with a 5,000cc, 5-liter capacity, no VVT, no VVL, no titanium con rods, a very specific uh, <laughs> limitation there. Uh, power range needs to be from 445 to 455. Again, a very specific range. Weight lower than 463, economy less than 0.485. That's a pretty tough one there, and has a huge implication on score. Uh, responsiveness more than 65. That's a pretty big one there. Uh, cost lower than 4500. That's not too bad. And loudness, loudness less than 80, which isn't terrible, but it's something to consider. So let's go ahead and, and start this. Um, I think I'm going to go with flat plane for this one. Uh, not a huge difference between the two. Uh, I think maybe the flat planes run a little smoother. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, weight. Weight is a problem, and cost is isn't so I'm gonna go ahead and try the magnesium lock. Gonna go with a pretty square engine I believe. What was that limitation? Oh, it was a five liter. Okay so so we'll go with a pretty square but a little bit more bore. Let's get it right up to five because I believe we're gonna need every bit of it. Alright that'll work. Um, billet steel in this, there was no limitation there. It said no, no titanium con rods, so we'll go steel, I believe. Uh, yeah. Um, I think just forged pistons. At least to start. Over a dual red cam. It's pretty high tech motor working with here. Um, since we can't use VVT and VVL, we might go with 5 valves per cylinder. A little costly, but it helps that flow just a little bit more. Uh, let's try the aluminum silicon heads. The pretty aggressive compression, really aggressive cam profile. Although we do have an economy to work with, we'll get to that later. And uh, let's see. That looks a little old school. Yeah. Eh, eh, I use this one too much, so I'm gonna go with these. Kind of a 90s look there, but who says we can't be? Uh, we can't be a little old school. But not not 80s old school. <laughs> That's 80s. Uh, actually, I kind of like that black with the silver. Hmm, because you know this is the most important thing. Yeah, I like that text better. Ooh, I like the red. Yeah, let's stick with the red. Alright, moving on. Uh, I can't go turbo. Uh, what did we forget? What did I forget? Oh, I have to actually select none. Got it. And A. Injection. I think... I think we're gonna try direct injection for now. The twin. Uh, lifespan's not an issue, so we can go with a race intake. Because they look awesome. I'm gonna go with 100 because there's no restriction. We can run direct injection pretty rich. Aggressive on the timing. Thinking maybe a 9,000 RPM limit. We're, we're limited without being able to use those titanium con rods. Uh, race headers, dual exhaust, probably a 3 inch. Somewhere in that range. Um, emissions wasn't a thing. No. Uh, so no cat. 
but we'll put a straight through muffler on it. Just the first one. We'll see. We'll see who that lands us on noise. That's something I haven't really messed around with too much. All right. Let's see. Let's see what that stacks up to begin with. Tells me it's rich. I'm actually making way too much power, so I can reduce the RPM. How are you on economy? Wow, really bad on economy. <laughs> so, so that's gonna be the uh, the kicker. Uh, weight, weight's not too far up. So I'm gonna reduce the size of the block a little bit. Oh, the, the boar. It's gonna make a big impact on that. Uh, how does that do? 485. No, we still got some, some ways to go. Go down to a 4 liter. That's 439. And we're still making enough power. So, that's, that's our baseline there. Uh, it was running rich, so that's gonna hurt the economy, obviously. And how are we on cost? Really low, so we can go with uh, throttle per cylinder. Max power. <laughs> we could be making 10,000 horsepower. Or not, but we could be. Um, ease off on the cam because that economy's gotta come down. Let's see. Uh, probably, probably too far. Not enough power. Economy way improved though. It probably will actually improve more once I bring this down. That may be too far. Uh, that's about right. But no, that didn't didn't actually affect the economy. So I'll bring that back up to eight. How are we on? Okay, so we can crank up that compression. Bring us somewhere in the ballpark, but 0.485, that's that's really low. That means it's gotta be running perfect. It's gotta be just the right mixture. Um, not quite enough power. Better though. Much better. Uh bottom end still still revving too high, probably limit it to Eight. And down only to 0.74. Whoa. Okay. So is this yes, more timing, better economy. Um still got a little bit of room there, but I need more power, so I can increase the bore without increasing much weight. Go up to 92 on that. This might make it a little too um, non-responsive. Yeah. Okay. So we've still got room in there. And it looks like our shirts bumped back up. So hopefully we make 450. Economy only comes down to 0 0.6 there. So. Let me see if it averages this or if just the best part of it counts. Okay, so just the best part counts. That's good to know. That gives me uh, a little bit more information as to how to improve it. So it's making peak efficiency at about 4,000 RPM. Uh, a little bit too much power. That's a, that's a good thing though. 
So that means we can play with the cams now and maybe lean it out. How are we there? Uh, not very good. So, as I've mentioned, I do have a really good idea brewing uh, for a series around automation. It's not going to be in the same format as this, where I'm using I'm using the game's um, built-in scenarios. I want to I want to kind of build my own or craft my own ideas and start working on a my own virtual car company, even if that stuff's not necessarily implemented in the game yet. Um, I do have a lot of a lot of ideas built up waiting for that, uh, but I really want the at least the car bodies to be implemented before I start doing stuff like that um, just because it, it'll help make it more relatable um, so the problem I'm having with the bottom end is probably partly due to the fact I'm going a bit under square so let me Increase that a little bit. Let's see what weight. That might be too much. 479? Yeah, that's way too much. Set it back down on that. 64, just barely over. So let's see what that puts us at. Right on the power. Not good enough on the economy. Let's see. Still, still revving too high, I guess. Ooh, 77. Nope, oh, still too much. I don't know why I can never remember where that is. It's been a little while since I played, though. Okay, so everything's happy now. Uh, we are right on 100, right on knock. So nothing, nothing to really work with there. Uh, let's see, 0.58. So I got to improve it by about a tenth. How can we do that? So we're making 450, so I've only got 5 horsepower to work with. Eek. Uh, what happens if we bring the cam down? We lose a ton of power, that's what happens. Holy crap. Ah, that's because it was knocking. So that's a little different. If it's knocking, it's, it's kind of irrelevant how much power it makes. There we go. So that didn't improve the economy too much. And our power is way too low. So we're going to go back up on that, back up on that. I think that gets us back to where we were. It does not. One click down. Yep, okay. So 437. That's still not enough. I'm not sure why. There we go. Okay, so wait, it's still too high. One click down there. Whoa, way too many clicks. <laughs> Just one click. 472, that was too much. 68. I wonder, wonder if I could save some weight on the exhaust tubing. It's one of those little things that can add up. 0.1 pounds, come on. Okay, there we go. Um, well, I'm not really 100% sure where to go from here. Uh, as far as getting it to be more efficient, or not efficient, but make the economy better, which boils down to pretty much an efficiency problem. So we're making 450. You're gonna make me do math here. That would be that would be about right. That would be about what 460 something. Okay. So let's see how much weight that gets saved us. Ooh, one pound. Maybe yeah, one pound could be it though. So still around 4,000 that we're getting at 0.5, but it has come down quite a bit. We're really close. off on power. Almost seems like maybe that exhaust choked down a little bit. I 
Yeah, it sure did. Hmm. Okay then. That, <laughs> but that hurts the economy as well. Who knew? So we got a thousand dollars left in the budget. Wonder what I can do with that. Is anything in here going to improve? Yes, that would improve fuel efficiency. The max torque is very low and the max RPM is very low, so I don't think it would work. Uh, it didn't improve enough. I don't think. For the fact that it's essentially blowing up. Uh, but let me try that real quick. 100.4. Couple clicks there. No, that's not a big enough improvement. Let's see, what else can we do? What if we improve the quality on the fuel system? Bumps that cost up quickly. Hmm. Wonder why that is. What about Max Power five thirty six? What's the weight? Huge. So let's see how much power we lose there. None. Perfect. So now we have more more room we can make the engine bigger. Let's see. Yep. Uh, a little too much, but. So now I should be making plenty of power. I am 465, which means we can come back down on the cam profile and the compression. 440, not quite enough power and not great on economy. Hmm. Very interesting. What to do? Okay, so what I've just done was leaned it out as far as I could just to see if I can get an economy to work, period. And it did eventually do that. Um, even a few clicks up, and we're still good. But what actually hurt was not only the power, which isn't terribly far off, or hurt the responsiveness. So, obviously you're choking for fuel down down low. Eh, that's that's not not a good thing. So, I can try and take that and increase the power in the in the responsiveness accordingly. How do I do that? <laughs>
Okay, so I took a little break. I was starting to rage a little bit. <laughs> this is definitely, uh, definitely falls in the insane category. Uh, but I'm back at it here, and I don't know, I'm just scratching my head and going for some last ditch efforts. Um, I seem to get, I can get horsepower, I can get economy, I can't get both. And um, I've tried every combination of compression cam profile and fuel mixture possible. So I'm trying to get something kind of locked in there. Um, currently, I don't have either. I don't have the power and I don't have the economy. So what I'm going to do is back off on the cam. Okay, so that's economy. Economy is fine. And then let's see. This one in my brain, because it says a fuel efficiency of high, I just in my brain I have it wrapped around that this motor must be built on that because I don't see any other way to improve the economy. And what that does, because they're really weak, is it lowers the lifespan. But looking back on it, lifespan has nothing to do with this challenge. So maybe if it, it says it's going to blow up, that's not a problem. So how much does it reduce it? Okay, so that... Reduce it doesn't. I mean, it really, that lifespan's fine. Um, but look at that. I mean, f four, three, three. That's that's a major improvement. So from there, uh, I think we might be onto something. Can we improve the cam profile, like to something sporty? Please work. I'm tired of looking at this engine. <laughs> uh, cutting close on cost. I don't know how I manage that. Going up. Oh, that's actually too much. That's way too much power. Mmm. But how bad is it on economy? Not too bad. Let's bring that down to about 40... 45, maybe? Alright, so let's try that. Our weight is good. We can actually, uh, gain some points off of that. Is plenty good. 454. How's our economy? Alright, success! Success! Oh, it's insane, but it's not impossible. Whew. Okay, so let's see. Heck, we got time. Let's see if we can maybe go for gold or at least silver. Um. Better. What could we make it better with? So the power's not an issue. Weight is a little issue. Uh, economy's a little issue. So let's see about maybe a lower cam profile. So it's those crazy pistons that were were the ticket after all. Go figure. This is. I would like to see some other people's. Uh, playthroughs in this and see if maybe there's another way to go about it that I wasn't seeing because this was a, a very strange and bizarre path I took to get here. Uh, not enough power. And you can see it's very finicky like uh, one click here one click there and it's it's out of range so it seems like a very precise setting to make it work leads me to believe there was probably a, probably a smarter way to go. <laughs> okay, that's enough power. Barely, but that's all we need. There's no points bearing to that. Okay, well, alright, there's silver. How much more do we have? Mm, pretty big leap. To get to gold, the thing I want to try is actually increase because... No, these two go so hand in hand, I don't know if that's going to help. Let's do a quick test on it. Nope, that doesn't help the points. How about... Hmm. 
out a little bit more compression. That's a little better. I guess the economy a little, little tiny bit better. 56. So yeah, we're getting somewhere. One more click. 59. <laughs> One of these clicks is going to be too far. <laughs> 61? Uh, yeah, one more click would probably be too much. I'm going to try it anyway. No, it wasn't. 63. That's, that's probably about it. We'll go with that one just to see. No, that's right on the mark. So that's uh, 1066. Cost-wise, we don't have much to play with, even though it has no points bearing. Uh, weight has a bearing, and we're making enough power, so let's reduce the capacity. Alright, there's a couple points. Weight was improved with that. And that was enough to make up for the economy loss. So we don't need too many more points. But I don't have any more to play with on the on the power um can we save a little money somewhere maybe on the bottom end that's 4300 and then step up this one too much how yeah, about you <laughs> one dollar too much Two next rank is 72, so I probably have to get one more point. And what I did there was lower the bore, increase the stroke, and I do one more click on that. I think, I think this is going to be a gold run. Some. Yep, there's gold. All right. So not only did we pass it, but we got gold on it. That's that's pretty awesome. Uh, for a while there, it was looking like I wasn't going to get anything on it. <laughs> I was I was definitely raging. So that's a that's a legitimately insane challenge. And to whoever wrote that one, I appreciate it, but I hate you. <laughs> Alrighty, so there's one more requested scenario down. Please do go on Steam, help these guys out, and vote them in the green light. If you haven't pre-ordered, go ahead and do that. It will help them out tremendously. But otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.